I'm back on the mic. We got a mirror on the mic. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to read it from over there, but that's cool that people can be a part of the experience and sharing it. So hello if everyone comes on to that. Guys. Man, you gosh. I love that I'm I love that I'm the first person you're you doing are? this with. This could go either way, Tyler. I know this like, could, this be could terrible. backfire so hard. So on bad. You. I apologize exactly. in advance. That's so funny. Um so the first question, so this is the new lightning round. So you're also getting new lightning round questions. Oh god. So okay. this is very exciting. Cool. Okay. okay. So just kind of ten fun little questions just okay. about you as a person. All okay. right. So first one, if you could be any animal, what would it be and why? Um, a dog. A dog. Yeah, I know. It's a very simple answer, but there's something about like that complete unbridled affection and love and just pure joy from the simplest stuff that is so the antithesis of how I am. Like I'm very affectionate and stuff, but I'm, I'm also so complicated and I overthink yeah. and the dog is just like, oh my God, I love you. There and that's, it is. Yeah. it's as simple as that. So yeah. That's I cool. Love. It's cool that it's to compliment kind of what you're saying. Cause it's, they're kind of like the we've talked about so how important it is to be self-aware they're kind of like the least self-aware animal no they just don't care it's just moment to moment it's like you're home i love you exactly and i love that yeah like it's so awesome to have absolutely no filter with that and to not have the fear of being rejected for sure that would be wonderful definitely um so what is your go-to pre-show meal my go-to pre-show meal, it's probably, okay, this is really lame and really douchey. I love it. But it's probably a protein shake. I get that. Because yep. if it's, because it's, it's a liquid, it'll go down. It's good. It gives me energy and I will eat a huge meal afterwards. Yes. Because if I'm, yeah. And if I'm going on, especially in Come From Away, because mm-hmm. it's being a standby, it's just anytime I go on, it's completely nerve wracking. Mm-hmm. And so it, it, because it's like going on for the first time. So yeah, I, I'll eat very light. Like I'll have a protein yeah. shake and that'll be that. Oh yeah. There's nothing worse than like, cause my favorite thing in the whole world is when you're feeling good and you get to walk on stage and like crush it. And by that same kind of standard, my, my least favorite thing in the whole world is when I'm like, I don't feel good. And oh I yeah. I had a, stage. Oh my God. I had a double, I had a double show day where I was on and mm-hmm. I went on the matinee and the, the crash from that. Cause you know how the adrenaline crashes yeah. was so hard. I'm like, I need a, I need a burger. And I had a double cheeseburger. And that second show was rough. It was man. A, yeah, that totally. Was rough. I did a, I, my first kind of big thing out of school, um, after forever plaid was million dollar quartet at stage West where they feed you before the, sh- like the buffet, if you want. Come on. Whoa. Yeah. Those first couple days I was like, uh Oh, that's yeah, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so now this is a quick one, just kind of whatever happens. Mm-hmm. What are the first lyrics that come to your head from anything? Sitting on the dock of the bay. Okay. That's really, I don't know why. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why. I'm excited about this question. Yeah, someone sent it in and I was like, okay, that's cool one though. Yeah. Um, If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Um, To fly. I would love to fly. To fly, okay. Uh, to fly. I you said to be a fly. <laughs> like to just turn into <laughs> a fly. That sounds like the worst superpower yeah. ever. Just like, like a hide newspaper from can yeah, get exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, but to fly. I have such I have such control issues that I think to just have the ability to be completely ungrounded and free, I, I would love that. Very cool. Um, so movie, you think you could come the closest to reciting every word? Clue. Clue? Really? Yeah. The Clue movie? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny movie. Um, favorite musical theater song sung by someone of the opposite gender that you identify as? Oh, um, one of my favorites yeah. is uh, Model Behavior from uh, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. Oh, okay, cool. It's Laura. Okay, here's the thing. If we ever do a gender bender thing, I'm so singing that. Yeah. It's, it's a patter song. Uh, Laura Benanti did it in the original. And it's literally about, um, she's a Latin woman who's leaving, it's set in the 90s, so she's mm-hmm. leaving voicemail messages on her friend's answering machine. She's a model, and and the the trope is that she's completely dumb. Yeah. And she's leaving messages because she's freaking out because she thinks her new boyfriend is a terrorist. Oh, that's so funny. It is the funniest thing, and so meta. Yeah, huh? so, look at I this. It, anyway. there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the take. Yeah, we can do know, takes right? to the live just, thing now. Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, favorite childhood nursery rhyme or story? Um... My favorite, uh, my favorite movie that I loved to watch growing up was Sleeping Beauty. Cool. Yeah, there was something so horrifying about Maleficent. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was yeah that was my favorite. I just loved the soundtrack. For sure. Uh, if you could be like a virtuoso at any instrument, what would it be? The cello. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's like the sexiest it's instrument. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone who plays the cello, it's so cool. And it's in that world where it's it can still fiddle a little bit, but it also has that big bass totally. stuff. Totally. And yeah. just, yeah, you bring a cello into any musical number and I'm in tears. Bring it on. Yeah, totally. Uh, if you could have lunch with one person, who would it be and why? A pro- <sighs> I would say Stephen Sondheim, but I've seen him. I've I've seen one of his talks, mm-hmm. so I'm fine with that. 
Why am I blanking? Okay. It's the Instagram live. It's stressing me out. Yeah, I know. It's really stressing me out. If I could have lunch with one person, probably Oprah. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, because there's something, there's something to be said of, no. Okay. I know who my answer is. I know who my answer is. Oprah's gone. Uh, No, Oprah's (laughs) gone. Dr. Brene Brown. Okay. That's who I'd have lunch with. She's um, a doctor of social work. She's, she gave a TED talk that like went viral about vulnerability and shame and empathy and all of that stuff. Cool. And her take on that really changed my life. Look her up when you get the chance. Yeah, Dr. The Brene okay. Brown. So it's like Renee with a B at the, uh, at the beginning of it. Cool. Dr. Brene Brown. Um, the way she she talked about vulnerability and shame and stuff like that really changed how I view things. So I want to have lunch with her. Very cool. I okay. love that. Well, if she's listening, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, so if, uh, if you could put on any show anywhere, what would it be, where, and why? Budget isn't a non-issue. You can just put on a show. Angels in America. Cool. In Lebanon. Really? Very cool. Yes. Because I think that A, it's a story that's very important to tell um, in terms of the subject matter and in terms of it's beautifully theatrical and it's beautiful, like it's just aesthetically gorgeous and it's flashy and it's raw and it's angry and all of that. And I think the people that I grew up with in Lebanon who are just starting to come out and who are just starting to figure out that underground movement and that revolution they need to see something like that. For sure. Yeah. There's, I've had a lot of conversations with people around, uh, how a perspective can change when you see something on stage. And that Angels is, in America is yeah. the reason, is one of the reasons that I'm here. Cause it was the first time I saw it. I'm like, Oh, I want to play that. Yeah. I want to do that. Yeah. That visibility. Cause you see, and it, it speaks to the importance of diversity and seeing, because that was the same thing for me, seeing something like the phantom on stage of being like, I could play that. Like yeah. I could do that. Yeah. That's that first thing they draw you in. And again, from everyone's own perspective, not everyone has had those experiences mm-hmm. of seeing someone on stage. I think it's really cool. Like even, in the film world and stuff like that, people are going crazy for that uh, crazy rich Asians movie that's out and stuff. Right, now. right, right, just right. Opportunities for visibility and just to be seen more perspectives. And yeah. I, I'm going to see that movie. It sounds interesting and it sounds like something I've never seen before. Everybody seems to love it. I have to go see it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, awesome. Well, you have just completed the lightning round. Great yeah. job. The first ever Instagram live one. We got some people in there. So thanks for oh, checking it out, everybody. Make sure any of the questions that we put on uh, that we just answered. I want to hear your answers too on there. So yeah, uh, I want to know where yeah. do you want to put on your show. Yeah, what show do you want to put on? Where and why? Let's hear it. So I'm going to go shut that off and then we'll get back. We'll start after that. Pantos and then come from away. We'll hit it like that. Awesome.